Well, hi there, I'm Sandy Almock, and I'm going to do a little bit of whimsical doodling in this card today. Super easy and fun to do. I absolutely love this little stamp set from Picket Fence. When I saw it, I had to get it. Look how adorable that is. No masking needed. You get all these cute little faces. And it's called Animals of the Wild. There are puppy dogs and things in there, so it's not all wild animals, but it's pretty dang cute. And what I decided to do was just add some details to it. And you can do this with a lot of different stamps, just adding a whimsical border to something because that gives a little bit of a frame to a card like this. And I decided I wanted to put a little hello sentiment down in the bottom. And I started with the L in the middle. I counted how many letters I had so I could try to fit them in. I do add a little exclamation point there at the end in a few minutes because I decided the O had a little extra space on the right hand side of it. But since these animals are drawn so loose and cartoony, I can get away with not even having straight lines in my doodling. And it just fits the character of the stamps, the, the stamp. One stamp, you didn't have to have multiple stamps, but it fits the character of the stamp itself really well. And I even decided to use some of the elements from this. You could even use a bunch of different elements and do a crazy border with all different kinds of patterns. But I thought I'd take the zebra and do some little groupings of stripes all around the edge of this and just create a little bit more fun here. Now I have two different ideas for how you could do this card. I did one where I just put it on a card base and I can send this to somebody with some colored pencils. Just give them a couple of different colors and send it along as a little treat that they can color their own card. And I did another one where I pulled out some Copic markers so that I could do the coloring myself because it just looked like too much fun. And I just started slapping color on around. So this is a really easy way to do some coloring. Just have fun. I decided not to worry about any shading or anything. I'm just putting color in there. I chose colors that were almost all warm colors. And warm colors on the color wheel are gonna go together really nicely, have a really unique, you know, kind of common feel to them. And then I also decided I was gonna put a little pop of something in there, but I didn't know where I was gonna put that pop until I started working through this. Because you can see me kind of looking around for the different animals. It's easy on a card like this with lots of different images to miss one of the bears or miss one of the lions and have to go back and pick it up, that sort of thing, because you don't always see them all right away. But as they start getting filled in, it starts to be easier to see the different animals. And that's when I started seeing all the frogs and I thought the green pop would be perfect. And in and among all of these beautiful warm colors, that cool bright green color is just one that's going to stand out and the frogs jump out to your eye. And I can also use the colors that are really nice and bright in the border and just throw a little color in there. Super easy and fun and relaxing to color this way, add a little stripes color to the border that I've created and look how cute that is. Little square card, super fun to just sit in front of the TV and do some easy coloring. So get this stamp set if you love coloring little animals. And if you want to make your own little whimsical drawings, you can take my whimsical sketching class because it teaches techniques very similar to this. And I will see you guys later. Have an awesome, awesome day. Bye-bye.